After a piece of clay has gone through its first firing of the kiln, it must be sanded in order to take out rough or sharp spots and further touch up imperfections that might exist on the outer shell. This process smooths the form so that the piece can be fully enjoyed by the user and it sets the piece apart from all others that have not taken the time to smooth their rough edges. The sanding process is similar to Old Testament law. It is through the law that we too can be sanded and have our rough edges smoothed out. It is through the law that we can know how we ought and ought not to live. Like sanding, real change does not happen in one or two passes. Rather, transformation is the result of sustained daily practices over time. When it comes to laws in the Bible, we may start to feel uncomfortable as they can be a little dull to read and often leave us feeling overwhelmed with a huge list of do's and don'ts. Do honor your mother and father. Don't take the Lord's name in vain. Some laws might even seem weird to us. Don't eat bacon. Don't wear clothes that are made with more than one fabric. These are laws that were written thousands of years ago for a people that is much different than the world today. How is any of this relevant? Not only is our piece sanded, it also receives wax, which will shape what part of the vessel will receive the glaze and again sets it apart as a unique creation. In the same way, God set apart Israel and gave them the law so that they might be unique among the other nations. Having just come out of slavery in Egypt, they were used to a particular kind of society and culture. They did not know how to live otherwise. While we may see the law as a burden, they saw it as one of the greatest gifts from God. For in it they knew how they were to live in love, both to God and those around them. Part of the beauty of the book of Leviticus is its very comprehensive scope. The faith of these people included just about every part of their lives. Their eating, drinking, what they wore, how they kept time, how they prayed, and how they ought to treat other people. In many ways, the law provided habits for the people of Israel to live by that would further shape them into the people God had intended them to be. These habits made even the most basic tasks a means of worship and orientation to God, reminding them of the covenant God had made with them and of how God delivered them out of Egypt. <laughs>